Hi everyone, it's me LG. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to tour you around in one of the nice places to visit here in Manila. It's Manila Zoo. What are the things that you need to know prior to your visit? First, booking online is a must. And then second, food and drinks are not allowed except if you have a personal tumbler. Manila Zoo is located in Adriatico Street, Malate, Manila. They are open from Monday, 11 o'clock in the morning up to 8 in the evening. And then Tuesday to Sunday, they will start early at 9 o'clock in the morning up to 8 in the evening. The ticket cost is 150 pesos for Manila residents and then 300 for non-Manila residents. For students, senior citizens, and then PWD, they have 20% off. Aviary means a place to keep birds. So here, to start the tour, nandito kami sa area na maraming klaseng birds. Though nakakage sila, they still have a wide space to move around. Taking pictures and videos of the animals are allowed, but feeding them is highly restricted. I guess it takes 20 to 30 minutes para ma fully explore mo yung buong area. And luckily today, sobrang ganda ng weather kaya na enjoy namin ng walking. Looking at this map, Manila Zoo has 17 areas to visit. It occupies 14 acres of land and houses more than 800 animals. So far, baka nasa 8 pa lang ang nakita naming animals. <laughs> So moving forward, after namin doon sa aviary section sa mga birds, dito naman kami sa outdoor reptiles and then museum. Philippine lizard and Philippine pond turtle. tiger. nag -e enjoy siya sa water. O ba? Ang, ang cute niya lang kahit mag-isa siya naglalaro siya. African lion but unfortunately tulog siya napagod yata ang haba ng nilakad niya from Africa <laughs> Ito. 
kasama na natin yung mga monkey. <laughs> As I have said earlier, food and drinks are not allowed inside Manila Zoo. But don't worry, kasi here sa Manila Zoo, marami silang restaurant na pwede mong kainan. So, dahil nga nagutom na kami, we decided to eat. Before lunch time, umalis na kami ng bahay kaya wala pa kaming lunch, breakfast lang. So decided na kami, dito na lang kami magla-lunch. Kaya ito yung in-order namin. Dito sa restaurant na to, they have yung rice. So syempre, kanin is life. Nag-order kami, ito yung spam with egg and rice. And then meron din uh, cheesy bacon. And then meron din silang drinks, nice color, yung red and um, blue. Ewan ko kung anong flavor, but masarap naman siya. And for me, dahil chicken dabber tayo, chicken katsu yung order ko with uh, chocolate bubble tea and then si Rachel, Oreo cheesecake ang peg. It's very timely for the weekend yung birthday ni Liam. So we decided to celebrate dito sa Manila Zoo. So may I cheers kami for good health and long life. Cheers! After namin kumain ng rice, for the waffle naman ang dessert namin. Ganun. <laughs> Aside from animals attractions here in Manila Zoo, they also have this gorgeous greeneries and so calmy lagoon. For plantitas and plantitos out there, sobrang may enjoy nyo tong place na to. Like you are surrounded by nature, greeneries, ang daming trees, ang daming plants. So calming talaga and luckily ang ganda ng weather so ang sarap maglakad-lakad. While walking around, I noticed dun sa mga trees and then sa mga plants, meron silang nakalagay na signage. And also, naka-indicate din yung plants name nila. So, in Manila Zoo, hindi lang siya place to visit but also very educational din. Butterfly Garden is another attraction here in Manila Zoo. So this is more like an art museum of butterflies. Honestly speaking, wala po silang real butterflies. Wala kang makikitang ganon. But for me, na-appreciate ko naman siya because it's an art. Okay na rin, maganda rin naman yung mga um, displays of butterflies nila. Year 2021, nakabisit ako ng Real Butterfly Garden here sa Dubai. And maa-amaze ka talaga kasi sobrang laki ng butterflies and real talaga siya. And as far as I remember, nakita ko doon nakaritin. Some of the butterflies are from Philippines. Here's another extension ng Botanical Garden inside pa rin to sa Butterfly Garden. After ng mga frames ng mga butterflies, meron sila ditong door na extension para dito sa Botanical Garden. So this place is so nice, cozy, marami ulit siyang plants and then mga um, designs na parang very nature. And then, here, paakyat, yung designs and architecture niya, it looks like Gardens by the Bay in Singapore na maraming lights. And then also, as well as, yung design niya, same din, parang blue waters dito sa Dubai. Ang difference lang is, marami siyang lights, yung sa Gardens by the Bay, and then yung sa blue waters ng Dubai. And here, it's wooden structures. I guess they use wood 
or bamboo. It's very native yung vibes niya. And they use natural lighting compared dun sa Gardens by the Bay and then yung sa um, Blue Waters. Meron silang mga lighting. But here, I guess this is a natural light which is, for me, is very sustainable. So, it also reminds me of the same building, yung Philippines Pavilion during Expo 2020 dito sa Dubai. So, I guess na-adapt nila yon because uh, as far as I can see, it's almost the same siya ng design dun sa pavilion natin during Expo 2020. So, after namin sa Butterfly Garden and then the Botanical Garden, here's another exit para naman dun sa mga souvenir shop nila ng butterfly. So, if you're interested, pwede kang bumili ng mga frames with butterflies. Meron silang mugs din, meron din silang mga t-shirts, meron din silang um, so many items na pwede mong pagpilian. After spending more than 3 hours sa Manila Zoo, we decided to go home dahil ginagabi na rin. Upon the exit, makikita mo yung souvenir shops nila na marami kang pwedeng biling items, yung mga toys, yung mga souvenirs like yung coffee mug, meron din silang t-shirts, meron silang stuffed animals like yan, elephant, tiger, lion, and then meron din sila yung koala, yung zebra, yung turtle, and then sa other side, meron silang mini studio. Joes, kung gusto mong magpa pictures for souvenir, pwede rin. On the way to Manila Zoo, nag-grab car kami. And then, yung uwi na, since sinabot kami ng rush hour, we decided mag-LRT na lang kami kasi sobrang traffic sa baba kung mag-grab car kami. And if you want to commute papunta sa Manila Zoo, pwede kayong mag-LRT using this station sa Quirino. So, from Quirino Station, Pagbaba nyo, malapit na dun yung Manila Zoo. Pwede kayong mag-walk or meron dun sila mga nag-aabang na naka-tricycle. Ihahatid kayo sa mismong gate ng Manila Zoo. So, much better din para medyo tipid yung commute nyo. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. For more travel tips, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!